Welcome back. Quest Communications has been struggling to get through several tough years. Since September of 2008, it has lost at least 1.3 million subscriber lines. But its chief financial officer is optimistic that things are only going to get better. Uh, Joe Utenauer joins us now to talk more about the company's strategic plan and outlook. So good to have you on Bloomberg Television, Joe. Thank good you for afternoon. having me here today. So let's talk about it. It's been a rough few years for you guys. What are you doing to really turn it around here? Well, I think first thing, you know, when, uh, you know, post Lehman Brothers going out of business in fourth quarter of 08, we really focused on making sure that we provided a consistency in our EBITDA and free cash flow mm -hmm. uh, to provide, you know, the necessary to cash to continue our dividend, meet all of our debt obligations. And now that we're exiting 2009 and sort of brought a stability back to the business is really now to turn around and focus on the top line and see if we can reduce our rate of loss and then ultimately turn it into a growth pattern. You had been looking, though, to sell off some assets to, in order to transform your company, right? And then the credit markets kind of made it more difficult to get rid of uh, those assets. What's that plan look like now? Actually, uh, on that, really, we weren't looking to get rid of assets. We actually had reverse inquiries and using our fiduciary duty, we took a look at, you know, what those opportunities were. So people were interested at. and you said how much? How Exactly right. And obviously we didn't meet the terms. I mean, how important, I mean, I'm assuming in terms of improving your credit position and credit rating, that has got to be crucial here because that obviously makes money cheaper for you going forward if you want to do deals or whatever. Sure. Yes. Yeah, so we're in the process right now of, you know, renewing our revolver. This year we've raised over $1.3 billion. Uh, once we clear our $2.6 billion of debt ending in the first quarter of 2011, our credit rating will go down to 2.7 times, uh, 2.5 times, and then we'll be starting to get in the investment grade criteria. By yeah, when? I mean, by, wait, wait, investment grade by when? Uh, well, once you start exiting first quarter 2011, and if you assume we can turn the top line around and actually grow the EBITDA, right. your ratio should automatically go down and start re reaching those criteria where we could start talking so to the So by 2011? Sometime in 2011, going into 2012. Okay. I was just going to point out, it's, it's, it's a great time to do this, right? Because rates are low and it, uh, corporate right. debt Perfect is getting time. popular. So yeah. it's an easy time to uh, rearrange your finances. What, what would you do with a better credit rating? I mean, do you want to be able to pay out a good dividend? Do you want to be able to acquire more companies and grow the business that way? Well, obviously, first thing, we want to continue to execute and, and use that cash to provide the proper return to our shareholders. So once we clear these debt hurdles and stuff, it's really about what's the best use of that next dollar of cash, whether it's increasing the dividend, buying back shares, buying back more debt. And then obviously, anytime you can find a strategic opportunity that helps grow shareholder value through some sort of combination is something we should clearly look at. We got 10 seconds left here. We're talking no an awful lot about jobs here. I'm just uh, curious, where are you guys? Are you hiring? Are you looking to cut more jobs? or? or what? Uh, we have cut jobs this year, so we've been trying to just hold things steady and be really balance our workforce to our workload. Does that mean no more job cuts? I uh, didn't say that. It really depends on what happens on the top line. All, All right. right. Hey, Joe, thanks so much for joining us. Not Joe, a problem. Thanks for having us today. CEO of Quest.